Christian who today I will be teaching you or reminding you how to burn a CD. So, have you guys ever been in a car or had a car that doesn't have an auxiliary cord or a cassette tape uh, adapter or an FM transmitter? So you actually need our own CD to listen to your own music then, instead of the radio, which just plays the same three songs. <laughs> Um, well, basically, burning a CD for yourself or for someone else can be a perfect last-minute gift or a great personalized gift. And it can also just be a way to listen to your own music when you don't have any other way to. So today I'll be teaching you how to burn a CD on iTunes by just creating your own playlist, uh, inserting the CD into your laptop or desktop, and then uh, clicking of musings and burning the CD off that playlist and having your own <coughs> mix of songs on a physical copy of the CD. So first, you want to open up iTunes and start creating your playlist. Generally, when I make a playlist, I follow a, a genre or a mood or a uh, songs that make you want to do something like a workout playlist so you pick songs that would make you want to that would cook you up and after that's done you insert a blank cd into your um into your laptop or desktop you can either be a cdr which is which you can only burn once and or a cdrw which is rewritable and you can burn it more than once but when you choose your CDs to burn on, you have to look at the amount of minutes that you have because the ones I use are typically 80 minutes, so that's roughly 15 to 20 songs. So once you insert your disc, you then click on File, and you, you go down to Burn Playlist to Disc. And once you click on that, you will get a and burn the playlist of CD and just wait for it to finish and take it out and you can use it wherever you can. So, like I said, this is a perfect gift for uh, anyone you want to give something more than just anything you can buy or if you don't have any other way to listen to music. Uh, so, I guess if you're single and you don't want to be uh, make some of the playlists, and I guarantee it'll work like 45% of the time. <laughs> Thank you.